Hi everyone, Mr. Baumgarten here with a quick reminder on how to set up and use WebStorm for your projects. So if we open up WebStorm, JetBrains WebStorm, okay, we get a nice loading icon and our welcome to WebStorm screen. So if you've got your existing project and it appears here in the list, and obviously click that, otherwise we will create a new project. Uh, go with empty project, select your location. So I'm just going to quickly make up, if I want to make up a new folder, I can click this little icon in here. Uh, test WebStorm project. Okay, and it's get, get created a new folder inside that one that I was in. Click OK, create. I have my new WebStorm project. How do I create a HTML file in here? Up on the top left where my project name is. If I double click on it, I get my project window open up. And I can then right click on my folder location here. New HTML file. I'm going to call this index.html. It's given me a new HTML file with all the basics of what I need inside it. So I could put in here a heading. Hello, everyone. All right, and if I hop over here and run this, it says hello, everyone. Fantastic. All right, I can now open up some scripting, a couple of script tags. Let's create a function called app and then down the end window.onload equals app. Okay, so just a quick reminder, this is telling JavaScript to only run my program once. So basically window on load. So once everything within my window has loaded, which is important for any images or anything else that I might be wanting to use, wait until it's all loaded and then run the program or the function called app. Uh, so in this case, let's put in, uh, let's do a quick little uh, two minute program. Input type equals, oops, okay. I'm used to just typing myself, but you can see uh, WebStorm obviously gives you the helpful little pop-ups. Text box, input type equals text. And I'm gonna give this an ID of name, all right, so let's put in a paragraph. What is your name? All right, so I've got a text box, and let's also put in a, let's make this one a button, ID equals set, no, yeah, uh, button name. All right, and what I want is the value in here to be called set. Oops. All right, so in my app, document dot get element by ID set. All right, so on click it's equal to print my name. So if I create a function called print my name. Then in here, so this will run when we click the button. So when I click the button, I want to see what's inside the text box. Get element by ID. The text box is called name. And I want to get its value. All right, so I'm creating a var var variable, my name. I'm going to make it set to whatever that is. And then how about we replace the contents of this header? So uh, we'll call this intro. So we'll just do document. Oops, document dot get element by ID intro. Uh, and for these tags, it's um, it's not value. It's inner HTML. So once we know the person's name, we can just say hello space my 
that name. Right, and now if I save this file, uh, well, I, I just use Control S on my keyboard. To be honest, I just use the keyboard shortcut all the time. Oh, there it is. Save all. <laughs> uh, open it up in Chrome. Okay, what is your name? Just a ball garden, and I click on set, and it didn't work. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> it's tough here. Can I say on click of no? Okay. And this is supposed to be a quick little demo. Uh, so this was happening on line 19. Line 19, on click, print my name. Uh, cannot say properly on click. Ah, I called it. I called the button button name, and then oops, control copy. And here I said set. There's nothing here called set, and it's saying, hey, I can't set the value for set because set doesn't exist. Okay, let's close this again. There you go. Run that again. Mr. Bongarton. Set. Hello, Mr. Bongarton. Okay, fantastic. I've got my amazing little WebStorm web app up and running. Uh, so. And then, yeah, so just keep right clicking on here, new HTML file as you need to add new files. All right, all the best.